Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jay the Wonder Gamer video. We're still rocking our way to Tokyo Game Show with our next video in this lineup. If you didn't check out the first video, please check out the video on Babylon's Fall. The video should show up in the little eye icon right about now, so please check that out if you're interested in that. But going forward, we're going to be talking about a game that I'm really looking forward to and we haven't heard a lot of information on since I think last year, and that is Senran Kagura 7. And for you guys that don't know a little bit about the franchise, Senran Kagura is a hack and slash inspired game where you take control of female ninjas, pretty much defeating waves of enemies. And to be fair, the franchise is known for its fan service and that has landed it in some hot water recently with Sony enacting a new censorship program on the PlayStation brand which they haven't done literally at all since the beginning of this generation so I don't understand why it's being enforced now but needless to say my two cents on the topic is I think it's a stupid idea to censor a game but that's just me moving on though with the game we did get some concept reveals of what it was looking like in progress from Kenichiro Tataki pretty much the producer and brand maker for Senran Kagura and it looked interesting and it looked like it was following the format of its previous entries of being a hack and slash game but unfortunately sometime after that we found out that Tataki Sensei has actually left Marvelous Entertainment because of what Sony has done and how it has restricted him with his Senran Kagura franchise and he left actually to go to Psy Games where he is actually working on a secret project that we don't know about but it still carries some of the Senran Kagura flair but it's okay because he has stated that with the Senran Kagura games he will still gladly work with Marvelous on producing that franchise so it's nice to know he's not abandoning the franchise even though he has gone to a separate company but that is the main thing we know about seven at this point is that it has now been pushed back in development because of the censorship program that sony has restricted on it so i don't think the vast majority of the game is going to change because it's probably going to hold to the roots of its hack and slash originals but i feel like they're probably going to have to tone down the fan service that the games are known for but i personally can get past the fan service i don't play the games just for that i like the actual combat of the game and one of my favorite characters in probably all of video games is a character named Daidoji and she is just amazing like playing as her is so much fun she's just like this incredibly powerful martial artist who fists like can crack the sky and are able to like break ground and her ultimate like ninja art is just ridiculous to watch and I love playing as her she's just amazing and a tank to play as and she feels like the Lu Bu of that universe because of how overpowered she is but that's kind of what I like about the Senran Kagura franchise is that there are different play styles for each character some characters are faster some characters are stronger some are in the in-between but I personally feel like the games are nice to play and I hope at this year's TGS Marvelous Entertainment finally reveals something new for Summer Cargo 7. Hopefully they'll give us a reveal trailer with some gameplay, some story, and maybe if we're lucky, a release window. Because it wasn't stated it was coming for the PlayStation 4, but I feel like depending on where they are in development, the game could either still be a PlayStation 4 title or it could go to the PlayStation 5. That's just my theory. But either way, I hope it gets a full proper reveal at TGS, and I hope that the censorship changes aren't that severe on it to like impact the gameplay. If you guys are still here at the end, I want to thank you very much for watching there are still videos on the way and like i said i am trying to get these videos out to you around two o'clock but that's gonna do it for me guys i want to thank you very much for watching i want you all to have a great day and remember let's rock